because the sun is about to set. I do this every time I do a drone unboxing and I lose all of my daylight. But today we're gonna be unboxing the Phantom 4 Pro. I'm pretty excited about this because it comes with an integrated screen and it's much brighter for outdoors. And if you've ever flown a drone without any sort of coverage over top of either your iPhone or whatever it is that you're flying with, it's so difficult to see in bright situations. But hopefully this little guy will be bright enough to alleviate all of those issues for all of us. Let's open it up, set this up. I also got myself a nice little drone backpack so that I can take this home for the holidays. I'm so glad that it comes with this protective case again because this is such a great case. Oh yeah, baby, look at you. So with the added sensors in the new Phantom 4 Pro, I do get a little reckless when I'm out flying, so thank you for those. Our controller. I think it has a different color back this time. All of our charging gear, cables, directions. The camera looks to be a little bit larger than the previous Phantom 4. Look at the little screen, it looks just like a little iPhone. I just feel like this controller is so big. It's so great, just carrying that Mavic around. Like, it's incredible. I also got this because one of the things with flying drones, if you've never done it before, uh, batteries tend to die quite quickly. Although the battery life is improved on the Phantom 4 Pro and on the Mavic, it's still pretty good. But you only get about 27 minutes of flight time, which in reality, when you're flying, is actually quite a long time. So this is a battery charger that'll allow you to charge three batteries at the same time. Gives you a charging option and a storage option if you just want to be able to store your batteries. It also has a micro USB charging port right here. I'm going to be interested to see how the battery life is on this controller now that they have this integrated screen because usually the controller batteries are pretty good. So the screen is about the same size as an iPhone 7 Plus. It's a little bit smaller. So satisfying. Let's put this up. It definitely needs charged. Get some agreements. I agree. Let's hop on our Wi-Fi. Oh god, this is in English. That's not English. This is in English. Oh my god, how do I use how do I do this? This is not English. So I'm struggling to type with this keyboard, so a tip for anybody that is doing a setup, what I've been doing is I'm actually just holding down the key and then I can select the letter because for whatever reason, it is definitely not working well with an English keyboard. But it is working perfectly fine if I hold down, but I have to hold that down for each letter. It's booting up, baby. Love that sound. So hopefully you guys can see it. It's still doing its updates. But this is the Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro. You guys can see we've got the sensors on the sides, the back, front, and sensors on the bottom. So basically, if you crash this thing, you definitely didn't have obstacle avoidance on. And here's a controller comparison. Controller size looks almost exactly the same, same size. There's really not a big difference. On the back though, there is an additional few ports. There's a micro USB, there's a micro SD card slot, an HDMI out, and another USB slot. No, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Why would I do that? Yes, land. Oh, my God. I can't land it. <laughs> oh, jeez. flying the Phantom 4 outside of my house. So, yeah, there's that.
super bright. I think the screen brightness is a thousand nits. Hold on, let me find my drone before I continue saying what I want to say. Like, I think I'm in the clouds right now. I should probably bring it down because it's kind of windy. so it takes a lot more time to set up. It's a lot bigger, clearly. So that's one of those things you have to sort of like plan for, but the Mavic is like the everyday drone. Like, yo, you wanna go to the mall? I got my drone. Hey, you wanna go to the, you wanna go buy some shoes? I brought my drone with me. Like, you know, something like that, right? Yeah. So flying with the integrated monitor controller with the Phantom 4 Pro is kind of cool because it's super bright, especially in really sunny days. So it's actually way brighter than your iPhone, so you're able to see a lot easier. A lot of people do fly with an iPad, so it gives you a much larger screen resolution, so you're able to see a little bit better. But I've been flying the Mavic so much that flying with a smaller screen is really not that big of a deal. But if that's something that you do prefer to do, then I definitely wouldn't get the Phantom 4 with the integrated screen. But I like it. I like it. It's nice. I don't have to worry about plugging an iPad. Let's pack her up. I gotta show you guys this backpack. It's incredible. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But I can fit so much stuff in there. It also has a way that you can hang your Phantom off of the back of the backpack. So you don't actually have to take off all of the propellers. It's gonna go here. Put these little compartments for batteries. Oh, I thought I wanted to get a 360 shot. But I can fit all of this stuff in there. These off. This here. You just flip this upside down. And here's the best part. I have a whole nother drone up here. Crazy. Ugh, I love drones. This is I love it so much. Side pockets so I can fit chargers in there. Here it is. It's huge. I just realized I never ended this video. I had so much fun playing with the Phantom 4 Pro and what I really do love about the Phantom 4 Pro is the quality of the video is incredible. It's a lot more crisp than the Mavic, but the Mavic is so incredible for portability that if I was to choose between the two, I would definitely go with the Mavic because for me, traveling with my drone is super 